Hello everyone, this is Alex here. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And last week we got the boomerang and we met Princess Rudo and the way we have to go the way we were supposed to go is is blocked by that green tentacle, so yeah, sorry guys. So you can't get to those toys yet. What we can do is secure this to it Bari. This play was one of the three theories. So now let's go back in this room and find some way to get into another room. We should go into let's see, what room do we get go into yet? Aha, we didn't go to this room yet. So we gotta go in here. Because we have to go. Once again, it's a parasite tentacle. Watch the come near again. And then do it again. Yeah, pretty easy. There we go, take it down. Then we can open that other path. We can't go on. So in other words, we actually just move on. Yeah. Oh yeah. One more thing I want to note. Um, some of you have been knowing about this for a while, but some of you know about a boss key. Yes, there's some sort of boss key in this game, but when we get it, I'm not sure. Anyway, now that we have a three parts of the we also have some berries. So, so be careful. So I want to get into the green project town cool before the berries here, but it's just risky, so oh come on, I I press C button first. Ah, that's so lame. But no, it's first. Yeah. There we go. Uh ah, you much better. Let's hit this beery. And now we can actually just spend the rest of our time getting this here tentacle. That's your tentacle, it's actually pretty easy. There we go. Now that all three tentacles are dead, that was the last tentacle, we actually move on to the next room. Let's see something. Yeah, all the rooms are covered, so that means we actually just move on to the room we haven't been to yet. That's right, we actually go down that hole now. How? Two tails for ends. <coughs> And let's go down this hole because we can go down it now. Because we're supposed to do it. There we go. Now we can actually take down these ghost toys. Not just one, number two. So now we just got two for one deal. There's the first one. And here's the second one. Yeah. Let's get that one. We target the token and get it for ourselves. Yay. Because we got Princess Ruto and let's move on to the next room. Whoa. That's it! That's what I've been looking for! Somebody out there! On to the platform! You know what that is? Something very useful, but before we do that, I want to change up my stats for a second. While we get on a dagger stick, you'll find out soon enough. But anyway, what this is, is literally something useful. Now, Princess Ruto had got the spiritual soul, but why Princess Ruto? Oh my goodness, I finally found my mother's stone. I got it for a set when Lord Joe Joe spoiled it. So that's why she went inside. While I was feeding him, he suddenly spoiled me. I was so surprised. I dropped it inside. But now that I found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. Um, yo. Uh, um, does the map say there's a boss in here? Yes. It does. Well. So take me home right now. Um, maybe not yet. I want to take down the boss first. Why say that? Because we gotta get up here. And whoa! What's going on? She's going up. Yeah, what is this? An octopus? Oh jeez. 
Okay, could this be? That's right. Here's the mini boss, the big Octo. Take me behind. So you gotta run. As this thing's moving. So keep pressing the A button, because you can't see in your map. Because the thing is the entire circle platform. Oh yeah, you don't want to fight it twice, you only face it once. And this is one of the only times where like you get the dungeon item before you you face the boss, or something the boss, the mini boss. Yeah, you see some water stuff, it means that he's nearby. So there he is. You can do the easy either way. And the hard I'm just kidding. Yeah, he's beat the one Degu stick. Pretty interesting, huh? That's always easy. Yeah. Degu stick. You can use your sword, but that's kind of risky. But now we can move on to the next area. Here we find some. Degu nuts? A fairy. Ooh. We already have one, so we'll need it. Yeah. Let's get these beeries right now. And just move on. Next room. Okay. These puzzles need to stay still. Because they are moving like crazy. Oh my goodness. Alright. Now with that done, you may be wondering, where are we? Well, we are in the same room we started in, so let's go down this platform and... What's it doing? Holy moly! We can now go into the final room. Yeah, take these blocks. Here's the reason why you don't want to destroy them. See a switch right here? You're saying you can't, there's, there's really nothing you can put on except this block. You know why? It's supposed to stay way as Link. <laughs> and here's the final room of the dungeon where the boss is located. And there's a bonus room we forgot, but... We'll probably get that later. So, yeah. Don't know, there's some... There's a lot of berries in here. Beers everywhere. Let's take them all down because they're stupid. Not really stupid, just want to take them all down. Another one down. Another one down. And, and up there is the final goals of Tala of this dungeon. In other words, there's one. We got them all. Gonna climb that up. Anything, or use a boomerang to get it. And there we go. We now have a total of 27 gold to us, three more, and then we get the next prize. Now then, all the prizes are very interesting. There's a switch beyond this wall. Beyond this wall? You're really wondering why there's a wall here, but you need to use a boomerang. That's how you do it. That's how you open the switch. To open the boss door. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Just need to climb up the wall. Now then, let's go in. This is where the boss is. Oh my goodness. What is that? There's a lot of electricity in here. Whoa, more little squids. What's this boss? Anyway, a squid thing? No, I think that's it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This thing is the Battle of Anemone. Baronade! The third boss. The Baronade. Maybe pairs like jellyfish swarm around this monster. Aim for its body and pairs by jellyfish. So there's many phases to this boss. The first thing you want to do is aim for its top tentacles. There's three of them. 
Watch your other choice here, else you'll be stunned. At least I got him. Now here's the second phase. This phase. That's where you slash him. That's where things get a little bit more challenging. Watch every little jellyfish because they will use a shield. And the others will watch you back. See ya. Yeah, they'll spin very fast, so you want to aim very carefully and watch every baronade. Boss. Ow. These things are called the Baronade. Or Joey's even called Baronade. Ow. Yeah, you can take yeah, you can take down Baronade, you can also take down the Joyfish. Yeah, the more Joey's you take down, the more accurate your your shot will be. Yes, yeah, so take out as many Joey's as you can, but it can attack! So be careful! Now there's only one more dry fish left. Get down. Now comes the next phase. It's flying around in circles. Ow! Watch your electricity. Yeah, this thing's electrical. Yeah. Should have taken down pretty soon. Watch your electricity. It's recharging. Wow, those last uh, shoes are annoying. Ow! Ah, my goodness, boss is like very electrical. What did Gandor even make this thing? Ow! Oh yeah, that's... Yeah, they can't shoot against... Yeah, they can use shield against electricity. So... You use your shield against this thing, you can't use it, so be careful. Watch out! Come on! There we go! There we go! We killed the boss! Woohoo! It's dying and... It's how they have this is it. And boom! He's dead. Wow. Pretty easy. There's two things there. Now is there Harkin Tanner's Princess Ruto. She's unhappy. But anyway, there it is, our next Harkatainer. We yeah, now have nine hearts. Sweet. And let's see. And we only need two more heart pieces for another one. So let's just go see her. You, you're late. What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. So, so let's go. Let's get out of Jabu Jabu. And we're back on. Oh my goodness. Straight nearest. And he's falling into the river. Oh my goodness, you didn't see that. That's interesting. And she ties in with this. Dancing. You, you look cool, cooler than I thought you would. Anyway, just a little. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess it rewards you. What do you wish? Just tell me. Yeah, I want the spiritual stone. You mean the spiritual stone of water, or sapphire, don't you? Yes, that's the sapphire. My mother gave it to me and said I should give it to only the man who wouldn't be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. All right. I'll give you my most precious possession, Sora Sapphire. So she's swimming that way. And there's the blue light. There it is. The third and final spiritual stone. The Zora Sapphire. She already told us what she is, so there's no need to spoil about it. Anyway, we've changed Zora Sapphire. This is spiritual stone of wire passed down by the Zoras. Your most precious possession? You don't know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to see Princess Zelda. And there we go, we got all three of them. Don't tell my father. Anyway, we got all three of them, and 
now we're ready to go back to to Hyrule Castle Town to see Princess Zelda. But yeah, before we can see Princess Zelda, we have to do something on the way first. Yeah, now I hit Princess. Yeah, we still got some things to do, such as getting some stuff. This is my most precious possession of your quest. Who hosts my quest? I want to speak to King Zora for a second. Oh, Link. So you saved the princess, eh? I really appreciate it. Yep. He appreciates it. Yeah. But we still got some things to do first. Before we go see Princess Zelda. Um, I believe all harpies are up to date, but... Maybe not Ghost Katolas. Yeah. Ghost Katolas, nah. We got some stuff to do with them. We got to get some more, so... So then the water we go. Let's flow down the river. Wee, wee, wee. Get some rubies in the way. Wee. Watch out the rock. We swim over the rock. Over the rock. Wee. Wee. Doing the clue since we already got the stuff. Yay. And while I'm walking down, we're supposed to be somewhere else. Whatever, just getting some rubies. Wow, there's 20 rubies in here? I did not know that. Getting some more rubies. Yeah, getting some more rubies. And that's all the rubies there is, I believe. Yeah. This is the Rebecca Hyrule Field. Now then. You wanna know something, guys? Um, there's someone going to be starting to run around here. Um, I believe his, yeah. But we'll show you guys that when we get to Hyrule Castle Town. But we're gonna start off the next video somewhere where we're gonna end off. Okay. So I'm just gonna walk to where we're gonna end off. Okay. Or run. At least with P.S. or at least with P.S. These with stall childs. Anyway, you may know where I'm going. Yes, I'm headed towards Lawn Lawn Ranch. Why? Because the first set of gold toys we're gonna get is in there. That's right. So next time we'll see you guys at Lawn Lawn Ranch, so we can get more gold toys. See ya, guys. This is, this is Alex here. Well, this has been Let's Play Market. Let's just awkward time. Uh, not welcome back. Um, we, I welcomed you here. So, yeah. Later, folks. And I'll see you guys next time. Where we get some more Gozo